Oh, look who's lucky. I'm Tanner Monkey. Let's get funky with Sucker for Love. First date. I was just vibing before I started the intro. And honestly, I kind of just saw Markiplier play this. So I decided, that seems like a fun game. I might want to record it too. This disturbs me. This right here disturbs me. Chapter 1. Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. Chapter 1. Lynetta, my really scary girlfriend. Okay. Let's go. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To mer merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final colossus of insanity is terror. Is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming their awaking under aligned stars heralds the end today the stair stars are aligned i said stairs dang come on already <laughs> same day shipping my ass oh no swear word i only have a half Half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me, Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me t to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spell book containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, all. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like brown and bigger and made out of human flesh? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. I accidentally clicked. Damn it, I need a new hobby, seriously. What a strange scam, though. You think they at least try to go for an authentic look? Did they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt and gold, too. And this weight, why they make a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer, that's probably just the delivery confirmation message. 100% real. Necronomicon, not clickbait, not a scam. Go sexual. Wait, what? What about that last part? What? 
the my order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then what? Then what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this ins inscription at the bottom, it's Relyan, the unholy language of the eldritch god, gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. The calling. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room in your room. This means draw your curtains, turn off your lights, turn off overhead lights. In the dark light, red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant. Okay. Er. Time to remove that. All is done. Oh god, it actually worked. She's here. What do you expect? What did I expect? A beacon of madness is towering over me. And a omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Laneha the star spawn and brought about the end of reality? Honestly, I was bored. I, I said this book looks fun and I picked it up and I read the chants and did the dance. I can't talk. I even breathe. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is tittering on the precepts and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't, I can't perish now. <laughs> Dark one. I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No. I want to smooch you. <laughs> You're going to look at this thing. This. And say, I want to smooch you. Change the tune completely. I want to smooth. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Something else is going mad. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, am I copying the jokes from Markiplier? I hope not. I, 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 I hope I didn't just steal that from Markiplier, but he also said it. Send me back. <laughs> Not a chance. Huh? But you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. But maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Not, I, I summoned you now. You're going to destroy the universe now. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... You get Honestly, I just found it laying outside my door. Huh, what? This? I found it outside my... I just said that! That Rue. Always trying to set me up with someone. Who's this? Moo. Moo, who's that? Are they 
they the one who left this funny looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's it it's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? I mean It isn't the last it's not totally absurd. God, she's cute, but what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Or, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. Well, I guess... I, I guess Cthulhu would need a survival guide on dating them. What? Really? This thing? Who needs sanity? I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what'd she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Bloop. Like what? You're you're gonna destroy all of the universe except me? Is that how it's gonna go? You'll let me smooch. If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. <laughs> well, call me a chicken, cause I want you to end reality. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Fair enough. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Fair enough. Just fair enough, I guess. Looks like my only two options are die or die without a kiss. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. But... Oh, eaten the poison. I thought it said drank. So if the world is going to end either way, deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the deaths ritual? I I invoke the what? The, the the what? Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. That means all light. Uh, turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. Both is safe. Is this turned off? Off. Off. Close. Ritual. My room just got a lot darker. Are are we what did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? I'm taking that as a no. No, 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 wait. Where are you leaving me? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Got it. The eye contact is just incredible here. You're sure you won't? <laughs> I'm sure! Just go take it. Leave my sights, demon. Alright, I'll be back in a jiffy. 
Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I just. Oh yeah. I I, I completely bad and wait. I got an ending. Oh. Well. So that was, that was, yeah, we already went through this. I kind of died. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. What's an extra tool? Ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water. Then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with, okay. So yeah, it's it's on. Go outside, then chant. Jeez, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Well, it may be, it may be foggy, but it ain't rainy, and we're nowhere close to the sea. I didn't know you have a house on the water. Realistically, I wouldn't. I didn't have five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Oh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. Which part? The endless danger? <laughs> or the constant water just hitting you in the face at 200 miles per hour? I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside? A little bit. It feels like something watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. After all, this page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Well, I would feel a lot safer inside. Boop. Unspeakable horror. Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me. You'll see what I mean. All right. I'm going back inside. Okay. Okay. What the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. I get the pun. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. Anything? Anything. <laughs> oh yeah, then what's this? It's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Damn, you are the real deal. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Nothing breaks. Just nothing breaks. Show off. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Or the switcher someplace where gore can be cleaned easily, like a bathroom where no ropes or amulets. Okay. Well then, uh. Go into the bathroom. Okay. Time to. Eldritch Mouth. 
Oh, have a ritual knife. I didn't really. Oh, this looks like it. Okay, now I can speak it. Those are some mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully because before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breast, brace yourself. You got a keychain with the letter D. I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. Yeah. I, I guess you could say that. But I thought it get... I thought I'd get an eldritch mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta. Yes? You just teleport. You just... You, you can't just teleport like that. Ah, you startled me. Ah? Uh, uh, who the hell was that third voice? She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa, hand holding on the first date? Moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hand, silly. My hand? Well, that isn't good now, is it? Oh, phew. what? Get, get off. Quick, help me cut it off. Hurry. No, not just the hand, the entire arm. Surely enough, it's not a dismem a dis disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's a very much embodied mouth indeed. Yes, embodied on your hand. <laughs> Is this really my hand? Wait, did I do to my hand? <laughs> This is screwed up. I mean, I knew it, it'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disagreement this early on? But, but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I just gotta think positive. Well, now you got a hand on your, now you got a mouth on your hand, so, uh, it's too late to turn back now. This isn't so bad. I mean, there's got to be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch you. <laughs> is someone not at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. That water running is getting very annoying. Damn I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about this that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it. I even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way, way out of a demon in my home. E either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south. Once I answer the door... It's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be. And at the worst possible time. What do I do? Ooh, is it even safe to go outside right now? With all the world-bending spells I've been casting. 
No one. Uh, it was just a figment, figment of your, your imagination. Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. Now, now, you were surprised when I didn't fall into insanity. Why would you get the door? No, I mean, no, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind filleting goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess that's a good point. <laughs> you don't think? Wait here, I'll be right back. Gloop. Missy, hey, good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own terrible surprising. You are so yellow to the hair down to the dress. <laughs> Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly sh showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside work hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch. I'm just going to say paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. Anyone who sees this video is gonna think down upon me. No, you cannot come in. Uh, I, uh, I just killed a hamster. Oh god, yes, oh hey, yes. Right this way, Mitt. You didn't think of that, buddy. <laughs> Wait, Lynetta is inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Um, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. I swear to God, if this is another dead hamster, a present that has to be given in private, oh man, what could it be? <laughs> it, it's probably a knife. Like, honestly, a bloody knife that she's... <sighs> let's, let's just keep going. Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Messy meet, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line? Here, say something, idiot. Uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? Tomorrow? Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking you so long? I miss you. Not the best time, Lynetta. Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Yeah, they were also giving me a dead mouse. That's just the mailman. <laughs> That's just the mailman! <laughs> yeah, me, me and the mailman's relationship is quite complicated! Shoot, I got my lame excuses mixed up! Well, I just did. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I survived this. Oh crap! The other one. Ah, uh, turns turns out it was one of those door-to-door uh, -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know. <laughs> Oh god, she's gonna stab me! 
Eventually, they give up. Ah, oh. ah, oh. no stabby, no stabby. No one's here to stab me anymore. Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later before, before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry though these rituals before there's there's more interruptions. Actually, yeah, you're kind of right. Metamorphosis. Okay, do not attempt this. Uh, oh wait, the unspeakable one. Okay. Let's. Well, so far, I got. Where his image appears in no one. Okay, I. Okay, if you see or hear anything strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image doesn't appear anywhere. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Alright. Okay, got the robe, got the neck. Wear a mask or headpiece to dis distort your features. That's what's work. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Oh yeah, I already, I already got that. Uh, always remember the second step on the previous page. When all is complete, chant. What am I stabbing? What am I stabbing? Hello, handsome. There's just a tentacle on the screen. My finger is replaced with tenty. What do you mean, handsome? Do you know who you're looking at? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened to my face? What happened to me? I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me? Actually, I should... Turn that off. Oh. I, I, I just touched my actual face. Yeah, this is, this is not good. What the? Uh. Well, I'm now, I am now Cthulhu. Break up, what the? This ritual. Not a not the breakup page. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing. Uh, well, it it totally wasn't the page saying breakup. Is that the truth? No, I'm lying. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of told you. Kind of asked if I was lying. I said, "Yep." And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, <laughs> okay. You won't get past the second word. I thought I wouldn't get past the first letter. No. No. 
Oh, illuminate the room to, to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ah, yes, cold storage. Oh, dang. Sure, the symbol is present. Okay. Well, the chant. That already smells delicious, darling. What did I do? All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Uh, okay. That's that. That's bleeding. The the page is physically bleeding. A knife in your possession. Robe and knife. Knife. Robe. Then what I need to do is get this symbol right here. Yep, that's it. Oh, I didn't read I didn't read the second part. symbol oh. oh Jesus what symbol was it right snuff candles I still don't feel safe it's just the most present No. Talking to me. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? What sanity? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Okay. Though I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. What you saw coming through your window, it's still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and end you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear those screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Yeah. You'd still be getting rid of being destroyed first or last. Which would you prefer, my darling? Last. Dark 
communum. Do not attempt this ritual without performing prayer offering. Reach into oblivion. Reach into oblivion. Prepare offering. Yeah, I did it. So now, let the room be well lit. Just, just, yep. Uh, I, I still don't think I can look out my windows. I, oh wait, no rows, no necklaces. Have the off, offering. Oh, that's the offering. Oh hey, the turtle's still okay. Only one? Pledging yourself to me. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Did you hit the lights for me, darling? Uh, sure. Thank you, my love. No problem. One last look before the end. Oh yeah, I realized the city sucks. Thank you, my love. Well then. Mm, that hurt. Uh, the paper cuts are getting worse. <laughs> it's getting bad. Oh. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. Thanks. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Huh? Darling, I had a wonderful date with you, and that's because of you. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Well, not entirely. Okay, you got me. Uh, kind of, that's what I'm thinking. Right? I can't remember my last dream, actually. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? Well, I've only had a few dreams. And, uh, what they were about was not too pretty. No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. Yeah. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. <gasps> the smooch! You're up, my darling. Smooch! The smooch! Wow. I really smooched Cthulhu. Thanks for playing. Suffer for love. First date. Well, that's where I'm gonna end this episode off. 
there are going to be two more episodes, and I'm going to unlock that one secret thing that I couldn't. Anyways, goodbye. Oh, you made it to the end of the video. I bet you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and share it with a friend who would also like it. I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos. Thank you for watching.